What's up everyone, it's Dave Stone with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills where I'm committed to providing inspirational and practical ways to transform your life and the world around you by planting fruit and medicinal trees. But today we're not talking about a tree, we're actually going to talk about a vine. This is the passion fruit vine. This is the Fredericks or the Edulis. It's a very, very hardy passion fruit. And as you can see right here, they have the most beautiful flowers. I love these things. They look like they're from Avatar or something. But uh, there's a really easy way to pollinate these guys. I'm gonna show you that in a second. But uh, there's also some medicinal uses for this plant that I'm very excited to share with you. And you can kind of just see all these fruits. This thing is loaded and it actually gets a lot more loaded when you hand pollinate the flowers. And that was a tip that I heard from Craig, also Nikki on uh, the I Want More Moringa group has some beautiful passion vines too. <laughs> I love that flower. Ah, oh, they do smell good too. Definitely have a nice fragrance to them. Um, so the way you pollinate these is, uh, and I'm gonna show you that on a whole vine here in a second. I don't have a lot of flowers on this, but I have a video that I just did when, I, when this whole vine had a whole bunch of flowers. When they're open like this, that's the best way to tickle. And I like to push this guy down and just touch one of these down here. Look how Look at that, those flowers and the fruits. What a beautiful sight to see. I love it when these flowers are all... See, the ants are helping me too. You see the ants on there? Those guys are pollinating. So they're doing a lot of my work for me. But if you, if you hand pollinate, you get much better fruit production. See how these things close up when they're ready to close up? They're open right now, ready to be pollinated and they close up to make the fruit. That little ball right there, that turns into the fruit. I definitely enjoy looking at these flowers. They're so beautiful. They're almost as beautiful as you, baby. They're almost as beautiful as you, honey. How's it going? So what I do is I just tickle them. Go tickle, 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 and then I'll just push one of these guys on the top down to touch the bottom and touch these. So it's pretty much just a tickle. Tickle on the top of the flower with all four feet, like the whole hand. Boop. And then when you do that, you leave your hand, don't touch your hand or anything, and go touch another flower. Then come back to this one. That's kind of how I pollinate it. I'm gonna show you that here coming up. So I got some flower and I got some fruit right here. Uh, it's amazing. So I I love and if you notice on the bottom of this little guy You can see those three Those three things on the bottom of the fruit That is actually these three things on the tip of the flower um, There's a little Ball right underneath these three and that's the ball that develops into the passion fruit so um and the passion flower, if it's not pollinated, definitely has some medicinal uses. I'm gonna share that with you shortly too, so stay tuned. First, I'm gonna show you where the vine starts. So, see down there? That's the vine. I'm on my neighbor's yard right now, but uh, this is the vine, and it starts coming up. And from here, it goes all the way back there. Like it's really long. It's grown a lot. I planted this about August last year. Um, so it was like mid-summer. And it was just a Lowe's passion fruit. And it's just already taken over my chain link fence. And you know, I was kind of bummed when I had this chain link fence. I didn't really know what to do with it. I was like, I gotta put a block wall in. Then I saw Craig's video with Seamus and Brandon and I saw that he had a passion fruit on his chain link fence. Then I saw Jay Behringer's passion fruit on his chain link fence. 
And I realized that if you have a chain link fence, you're actually really lucky because you can grow passion fruit and it, it's the perfect trellis. It just takes up the whole fence, provides a ton of fruit when you hand pollinate. So just a lot, it's loaded up in here. It's everywhere back here. So sometimes you'll get the flowers that don't pollinate. Now see, these are already closing up. They're only open for one day. So when you come out here every day, you gotta hand pollinate. And let me show you a little trick. So this is what I do when I come outside during the day. Finds a flower and I just tickle it. Well, that one's kind of closed up anyway. These are gonna become flowers here. So there's still a lot more flowering to do. So what I come in here, just tickle the flower, tickle this flower, just this motion, just a nice little tickle. So these ones are kind of closing up on this side. I did this earlier today, but you can see how many flowers there are. And when you come over to my side, I got a whole bunch of cardboard for the Bermuda grass, so I'm gonna clean that up soon. But look at all these fruit. I don't know if you can see all that. There's so many flowers today. Look at that fruit. It's huge. And you don't pick these fruit. You wait till them till they fall off. Once they fall off, they're ripe. It's the best part about this plant. You don't have to worry about picking any fruit. Birds don't get it. Butterflies don't get it because this is a uh, edgeless. Uh, if you get the edgeless variety, it's very hardy variety, very strong. It's not going to get eaten by caterpillars, and it's going to grow crazy in full sun in Phoenix. So it's a great plant for you to grow. But I mean, if you can look in there, you can see all the fruit just completely loaded up in here. Look at this. There's a beautiful flower. I love these flowers. When you see a flower like this, you just kind of tickle, 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 tickle. And I tickled all these ones today. So all these ones should turn into fruits. Um, yeah, they're only open for one day. So I'm gonna come out here again tomorrow and I'll, I'll finish this video for you guys tomorrow because there's gonna be a whole bunch more open tomorrow. Another cool fact about the passion fruit is that when you get the flowers that don't pollinate, if they just dry up on the vine and they don't actually become a fruit, those are medicinal. And the cool thing about those is you can use those dried flowers if you harvest them for sleep. So you can make a tea right before you go to sleep with the passion fruit flower and uh, it'll relax you and it'll calm you. So you don't need to throw away the unpollinated flowers. In fact, you should store them and keep them. Let them dry out all the way. Store them and then it'll help you go to sleep when you need to. Kind of like a chamomile, but it'll act, it's a lot more potent than chamomile. If you notice, uh, passion flower is in a lot of sleep formulas and uh, it's because it helps you go to sleep. Calms your nerves, relaxes you, makes you feel really good. So it makes me feel good just looking at these and I can't wait to taste them. Very excited about that. So that's a quick update on my passion fruit, guys. What's your passion? Fruit? <laughs> my passion is fruit. My passion is fruit. And um, I know a lot of you are like me. So if your passion is fruit just as much as mine, then you need to grow some passion fruit. These are the easiest fruits you're gonna grow and you're gonna get the biggest crop you've ever seen when you start growing passion fruit. Um, plus you get a nice privacy wall out of it. I have another passion fruit I'm gonna show you real quick that I got. Now this one I got from Home Depot. Um, it's a different variety, it's not an edulous. I haven't planted it yet and I don't know if it has any flowers on it, but it's just in a pot here and this is it here. The leaves are much more delicate. It's a much more delicate plant. It has been producing a lot of flowers. You can see the little pods coming in. This one has a very exotic, gorgeous, beautiful looking flower. Even a little more now. See this, see that right there? That's the dried flower. So if you take this off, you use this 
So when you harvest this, you don't throw it away, you harvest it and you make tea out of it. Um, and it'll help you go to sleep. All right, I got one of the flowers that opened up on the amethyst passion fruit and it's so beautiful. Um, it's definitely got a much longer, much longer stem here in the middle. This one didn't open all the way. But it's so beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous flower. So, just wanted to show you that. Let's see what this passion fruit is called. And you can see the trunk is real thin on this one right now. I gotta go show you the trunk of that other one again, because this one is called a uh, amethyst passion flower. So it's it's beautiful, and I'm gonna put it somewhere, and I don't know where it's gonna go yet. But let me go show you the trunk of this Lowe's passion flower vine that I planted last year in the middle of summer. I mean, look at this trunk on this vine and it just spirals up. Now the stake, the stake from Lowe's was inside here, guys, and it wrapped around and it pretty much like locked the stake in here. So I had to cut it out because it was just going to engulf it. But I did and I and it, it's so hardy this plant. It's just so hardy, so strong, just unbelievable. The growth is a scene and every time you come up, boom, just fruit, flowers. Fruit hanging right off the vine here, boom. All the way down. More flowers coming in, about ready to open. Hi there, beautiful. <laughs> what are you doing, baby? Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it that you guys are along for the ride and you should definitely plant some passion fruits. Put in the comments which variety of passion fruit is your favorite because I know you guys have some favorites out there. And Seamus O'Leary sells a whole bunch of really exciting ones that I can't wait to go down there and get. So uh, I'm excited to go check some more of them out. He has a giant granadilla, or yeah, a giant one that's big red flower. So there's a whole bunch of really cool passion fruits out there, guys. So put in the comments below what your favorite passion fruit uh, vine is to grow. And if you like flavors, like if you guys know about some random different flavors of passion fruits, what's your favorite flavor of passion fruit? What favorite variety tastes the best? Put that below too, so I can go buy that plant and grow it here at Stonehaven. Um, I got a couple trees I wanna load up with passion fruits, so I'm excited about that. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really wanna give a shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for getting behind me and supporting me with my visions and all the crazy stuff I got going on. I uh, really appreciate you guys. If you do want to support me on Patreon, go to patreon.com forward slash develop awesome skills. Patreon is a place where you can support your favorite artists so they can keep doing what they do. And what I do is plant trees. And the cool thing is your name will be in the end of these videos in the credits. So that's kind of cool too. And there's special content uh, posted on Patreon that is not on YouTube. So check that stuff out. I appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, give me a big green thumbs up, share the video with the world, comment below, and hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell icon right next to the subscribe button so you know when I post some more. But as of right now, look out for new videos every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 5 p.m. Uh, so yep, that's it guys. Uh, until next time, develop awesome skills. I love y'all.